Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mark Anthony, Mark with a C, not a K. Don't get it twisted. Today I am here to bring you a brand new video about mascara. Now, I know that kind of seems like boring and not very relevant, but I've noticed lately, and not to be shady, but I've noticed a lot of people who, you know, are talking about their mascara, and I'm like, but where is it? Because your lashes look really tiny. Or, I know, like, you know, sometimes, you know, if you wear a lot of lashes and you're mature and you've worn mascara a lot in your life, you may have lost lashes. But when you're ma wearing mascara, there should be some type of effect. Or, I've noticed, you know, I'll be talking to someone and they'll have, like, little mascara crumbles down there. And I'm like, girl, let me just get you a good mascara and a good technique and we can save the day. Now you may notice that I wear glasses, so these can make it harder for your lashes to pop out or even when I do eyeshadow, it's just harder to make it more visible. You know, even if you watch my video, you can see there's a glare in there and it's just harder to see. But with this technique and products that I have, I have just found that my lashes are just beautiful and I'm not gonna lie, like my lashes are the one thing that I consistently get compliments in, you know, at work, in my daily life from friends, etc. So if you are a glasses wearer or a beginner or you're just trying to la like up your lash game, then this is going to be the perfect video for you. Before we begin, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It would really help me out and I would really, really appreciate it, especially if you like this video or videos like this. I am putting out videos with my boyfriend, beauty videos, funny videos, and I have a lot of videos you know, planned for the future, so I would really, really appreciate it. But let me zoom you in a little bit so we can show you what we're working with. Okay, so we are very zoomed in. Don't even think about judging the skin right now. I will say I do have a little bit of like yellow in my inner eye, but that's when Tyler did my makeup and went a little ham with the eyeshadow. Um, but this is my bare lashes. This is what I'm working with. There's nothing on them yet. To start off my lashes, I do like to give them a good curl. Now, this is what I feel like the girls are lacking and the guys. Like, if you just take two seconds out of your day to give your lashes a nice curl, I really feel like you will see a difference. And you don't even need necessarily an expensive eyelash curler, I feel like. Like this one is literally from Walgreens. I think it was like three bucks and it does the trick. You just need a little something. Now I know eyelash curling can be scary, um, but if you just kind of look forward more so, not down, not up, not nowhere other honey than forward, I feel like that's the easiest to do it. So I literally just look forward, make sure you have good lighting so you know you're not going to like poke your eye out. <laughs> and then literally just go right in. I feel like if you hesitate, then that's where, you know, you get a little bit more scared or you can even nick your eye. But you can see, I just went in. I just went right in, honey. And look at you can even see the difference. Well, at least I hope you can. You can see the difference that this one is way more lifted compared to that eye. Now, I know you might be thinking, like, how many more steps could there be for literally just mascara? But you haven't met me, honey. There is two more steps. Now, it's not a lot more. There's only three steps total. But this next step is also crucial, considering there's only three steps. Um, but this is also something that I feel a lot of people lack in their mascara routine, and that is just a lash primer. Now, this isn't necessary every day if you already have decent lashes, and if you're not going to a special event, but if you have that special occasion, you know, it's your one year, it's your Valentine's Day dinner, it's your uh, wedding anniversary, I don't know, put on a lash primer. And if your lashes are literally so, like, they've just been so wrecked or you just weren't blessed with lashes and you feel like anything you put on them just doesn't look good, then just add a lash primer and I promise you this will be so, so good. Now, this is the Lancome one. It's the Sills Booster XL. I think that's how you say it. This is, in my opinion, the best one. There's one from Tarte, but I just don't really like Tarte, like the brand, as much. So I go for the Lancome one. Now, any lash primer you buy will be or should be um, white, and that's just gonna give the mascara a nice base to work with. Now, if you think about it, if you do your foundation, you usually use a primer. If you do your eyeshadow, you might use a primer. When you paint the walls, you use a primer. Primer just makes everything better. It just makes the lashes longer, it makes the mascara darker, and it makes the mascara last a little bit longer so it doesn't flake on your, um, skin throughout the day. It's just a crucial step within the routine. Now, 
what I find a lot of people do with mascara, which I feel doesn't work as well, even with your primer you want to do this, is people just go up like this. Literally just swipe their lashes up. And I'm like, but what are you really getting? Like, when you're doing that, I just feel like barely anything from the wand is transferring on to your lashes. You really want it to stick to your lashes. So what I do is I get right in there, right at the root, real nitty gritty, and I wiggle in a Z formation. And I feel like this really, really grabs and coats every single lash, even the ones that you feel like you might be missing or not even have. And you want to follow that all the way inside. Like, make sure you get them inner, inner lashes. Like, you want every lash to be as dark, volumized, and lengthened as possible. And now that the lashes have been properly primed and set up for the mascara, your mascara is about to look bomb. Now, you want to make sure that you grab a great mascara because if you grab a crappy mascara, like a cheap $3 mascara that you just like, yeah, that's good. Obviously, your lashes aren't going to be good throughout the day. Like, hello, think that through a little bit, right? Now, there are amazing options. I'm not saying you have to spend a lot of money for your mascara. Like, mm, 9 out of 10 Maybelline mascaras are amazing. Um, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara is amazing. I even like the e.l.f. mascara. Now, my favorite mascara of all time, I feel like, lies in the middle of drugstore and super luxury. This is Milk Makeup. If you've never heard of them, get into it, honey. They're so good. Um, this is the Kush mascara. This is what really, really, I feel like, blew up their brand, in my opinion. And you started seeing, you know... Kush in every single product. Now, I'm not saying they're the first ones to do it. There were brands before Milk that did it. But I just feel like this, like, really grabbed, like, the world. And they're like, holy crap, this is amazing. And it's because it is. Now, the wand for me is a little bit big. That's the only thing that I don't necessarily love. But, I mean, it just really works. Now, when you take out your mascara, you want to do exactly what I'm doing, which is take out the clumps that might have been balled up in the wand. If you have the clumps that have been balled up in the wand, it's going to go right to your lashes, and you're going to have really clumpy lashes. And sometimes that's a look, but not for, like, everyday bomb lashes, per se. So, I'm going to turn, look... You know, have make sure I have good lighting, just like I did for the eyelash curler and the primer. And I'm going to start, I like to start right in the middle, because that way if you at least mess up, it's not on like the ends or the inner where it's harder to get in and can possibly transfer on your skin. So I start right in the middle, looking forward, and I get right at the root, and I start wiggling in a Z formation, just as I did with the Lancome Lash Primer. And then I start moving my way outwards, opposed to inner. I just feel like that kind of like spreads and distributes the mascara a little bit better. Now hopefully what you're seeing on camera is this mascara is thick. Thick with three C's and five K's. Now I personally like that because it's really grabbing my lashes and it's just making them super, super, super dark and lengthened. And then I start moving my way into the inner lashes, making sure I hit every single lash, making sure nothing is let out, left out, making sure I'm getting the most dramatic volume that I can get. And I'm making sure I get the root of the lash too, because sometimes if you miss the root, your lashes can just look weird because there's just a part of the lash that hasn't had a mascara on it and it just don't look right in all honesty. And then if I look forward, I'm like, wow, there is a huge difference. Now on the ends, it did get a little bit clumpy, so I'm just going to take the tip of the wand and just kind of comb this through until it's at my desired liking. And then for the bottom part of your mascara, I like to tilt the wand vertically. It honestly is just a little bit easier. And take the tip of the wand and just lightly graze over the lashes. And honestly, this is just super quick and super easy. And it just kind of makes your lashes look super wan and gives it that spidery effect. Now sometimes I do notice that it distributes too much on the ends of the lashes, so once I'm done making them as dark as I like it, I take it horizontally and then 
do that little Z formation in the bottom, just kind of blending out the mascara, making sure it doesn't look clumpy or anything crazy. And yeah, that pretty much completes the lashes. Now you can't tell me that these lashes over here don't look 10 times better than the lashes over here because if you do, you're literally straight up lying. These lashes look so much thicker, darker, lengthen. They just look so much better. They make me look more awake. They, you know, they open my eye a little bit more. And it just makes me more confident and it makes me ready to slay the day. And I promise you, throughout the day, there is no flaking or anything crazy on your under eye. These techniques and these mascaras specifically work so perfect. Now, I'm just going to finish my other eye and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like with my glasses on. Okay, so I did zoom you out a little bit, but mascara is on both eyes, and I just honestly think that it makes my lashes look so perfect and beautiful. I think you can still see them through my glasses, even with the glare coming through, and even with these big frames um, distracting, you know, you and having these huge things on my face. I would like to get contacts in the future. But for now, this is what I'm working with. I know a lot of people out here have glasses, and I think it just makes their lashes shine through so beautifully. Now, I will say, if you do get mascara, you know, you accidentally bump yourself, which I did like five minutes ago, if you just let it harden and dry, then, you know, go get a Q-tip, and you can just scrape it right off, and it literally just pops right off. Do not, do not, do not try to scrape it off as soon as you bump it, otherwise you're just going to smear it, you're going to have to wipe it off, and you're going to have to redo your concealer and or foundation. So... I really hope that these tips helped you out. I really enjoy them, and you can really see the full effect from beginning to end. So anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoy, and I will see you guys on the next one. Mwah. Love ya. Bye.